Um, I have this little brush. I have something from Shea Moisture. Well, please help me, black people. Because you know that that would make you go super, super viral. Hi everyone, I wanted to come on and speak with you all about a video that's been going viral on TikTok regarding a same-sex couple who adopted a newborn black baby girl. In the video, he asked for help with the baby's hair. Let's take a look. I am hoping to get this TikTok over to black TikTok. Any black parents, um, we have adopted a black baby. Her name is Zoe and I don't know what to do for her hair. Um, I have this little brush. I have something from Shea Moisture. Um, I really don't know what to use. So please, any uh, black parents or anyone who knows what to do with black children's hair, please help me in the comments. Thank you. It's so adorable. Okay, so my initial thoughts upon viewing this video is... He's looking for a viral moment. This baby is basically a newborn. Her hair, you know, it's still developing. It's in its newborn state. At this point in time, all you really need to do is keep it clean, dry, and brush it. Maybe give her a little headband, but it's not much maintenance at this point in time. Now, I understand that you may want to prepare, but as of right now, there's nothing really to do. Also... Why go on TikTok and ask for advice? There's a plethora of resources available on social media. Since you know, you're know you on social media, you can go to YouTube. There's a lady, a, a white woman that has adopted some children. Uh, some are African-American, da her daughters, and she does their hair and she has some tips. So why not start there? For me, this is, I want to go viral possibly get a few brand deals, but I didn't want to be, you know, judgmental right off the bat. I said, let me just not do that. Let me give grace. So, but I wanted to know if I was the only one thinking this way. So of course I ran over to the comment section and I saw mixed reviews. I saw people saying, well, at least he did ask for help. And others were saying, pray for the baby. Others were saying, you know, he's looking for a moment. Um, it's just basically saying it was unnecessary for him to do it this way in the way it was set up. Now, I did go and try to look for his page. I also went to Instagram. I didn't find the TikTok page, but on Instagram, it showed that his account was private. In this particular video, she has his reaction to the comments that were said, and she pretty much summed up what the thoughts were. Let's take a listen. And he just let us know that these are the only types of comments that he is going to accept. Unless you are worshiping his white saviorness, he is just going to dismiss you as just a negative comment. And he can't change your mind. Didn't, I can't even keep up with these notifications, but, um, you know, it, there are some negative comments, but I have, I can't change anybody's mind. Um, the fact is that we only had two months to prepare. The red flags are red flagging for me. It's the fact that you come to her community, the black community, and ask for help in figuring out how to do her hair. But then when you get any kind of feedback that is anything less than worshiping your white saviorness, you dismiss it as negative comments and just chalk it up and don't address them and say that you just can't change people's minds. As someone who is currently carrying a little black baby, I have some concerns about how you handle the video, just like people in your comments. But we are just dismissed as negative. Then what the hell did you come to us for? I also don't like the fact that you just got this baby and you were already making her hair out to be a problem. And you didn't do your own research. You came to TikTok with some weaponized ignorance like oh please help me black people because you know that that would make you go super super viral and it's the fact that before you even premiered this baby you were tagging Graco making product review videos because you're trying to become a baby influencer so we know where the turn that your account is about to take that baby still has a placenta perm so right now her hair doesn't look very much different than the anglo-saxon hair that is the apparently the only kind that you know how to do anything with you just got her and you were already making her hair a problem like day one, two. What are you going to do to this child's self-esteem as she gets older in a world that is going to tell her that her hair is lesser than? And then she has to look back and see that her dad went super viral talking about her hair as if it's this big, huge monster that he's going to have to contend with. 
He took the video down completely because he couldn't handle constructive criticism and he wanted to silence all the people in the community that he sought help from that didn't agree with him or had anything to say other than, you're such a hero. So now you have a video up of this baby desperately sleepy, dying for sleep, and you just got the camera right up in her face, playing with her, overstimulating her, and not letting her rest. That baby is tired and wants to sleep, but you are more concerned about making a cute little video of her for clout. That is why we are worried about this child. While you're worried about blowing up your social media and becoming an influencer and a white savior and getting collab deals with brands, we are worried about the well-being of that child because we have already seen 50 11 red flags from your ass. She went in, but it didn't stop there. People were going deep, digging up information. And there's another video that I want to play for you all. Um, let's take a listen. Why do adoptive parents think it's okay to take a womb wet baby and cosplay with them? Literally womb wet. So you guys have seen this video, the one with the dad asking the black community for help with his uh, black daughter that he emphasized the black like nine times on that video. He then said he was going to black talk into the internet because he didn't have anywhere else to turn to. And he was just looking for information. And after a little bit of investigation, my question is, why didn't you ask that mother, the one, you know, the one who gave birth to your daughter, Zoe, you were in the, her hospital room for literally five days. Why didn't you ask her about her black daughter, Sarah, when she was literally with you? Oh, you were too busy having photo ops in the operation room while she was literally pushing her baby out. And while your husband was cutting the umbilical cord, you were recording videos, and then you did scan to skin immediately after she was born, right next to her mother. Now, I don't know who this mother is, but unlike you, I'm gonna block her face to conceal her identity and for confidentiality, which you should have given her the honor on one of the most <sighs> tremendous days of her life. And she's losing her child to you. Another thing I want to address is you said you didn't have enough time to prepare for this child because she was a last minute placement, saying that you only had two months to prepare, which, you know, can happen. But you had enough time to make memes of you being pregnant with your husband. That's weird. Also had enough time to become a parent content creator uh, and try to do sponsored posts, but you didn't have enough time to even educate yourself on your daughter's black hair. I really wanted to give you the benefit of the doubt that you were an adoptive parent that was doing this for the right reasons. And not for content and not for cloud or self praise. But unfortunately, but that's not what it's looking like. You've paraded that baby out days after it was born, going to hotels, going to events. What a fresh baby. And you clearly show no concern for that birth mother, especially by showing her face on your public platforms. Now that black mother has to see her daughter on black talk because it went viral and her face now on your social media platforms, which I'm sure people were going to start to share. I hope that you take this time because adoption is permanent and you're in this permanent agreement. I hope you take the time to listen to transracial adoptees. It, I hope for the benefit and safety of that child, I hope you do. Because what we've seen so far is exactly what we talk about. And we, it's exactly what causes maternal separation trauma, being ripped from your mother, womb wet, not even allowed to touch your mother not even allowed to have your birth crawl with your mother, not even allowed to have the, the golden hour with your mother and to be immediately placed on a stranger's chest does cause maternal, cause maternal separation trauma. And it does cause trauma for the child. And it's just simply unethical, especially when the mom's sitting right next to you. Please listen and learn and always shine your light. He said a lot, especially about the golden hour and basically the baby being taken right away from the mom and doing skin to skin with the new adoptive parents. Initially, I didn't think anything was necessarily wrong with that because sometimes the mother doesn't want to interact with the baby because it could be a hard process. I would imagine that being extremely difficult, giving birth and then handing over, you know, your baby. And also I saw comments saying that, you know, same sex marriages, they shouldn't be able to adopt children and non-religious couples I also like to know what you all think about that i'm not sure how i feel about it because there's tons and tons of children who need to be adopted so i don't know if we should be too picky but i definitely think there should be a thorough investigation and vetting process as it pertains to people being able to adopt children there was a lot of backlash for him um there were like i said there were people praising him but also there was a ton of backlash and not just from the black community um here's my 
last video I want to play for you all. Just check it out. I just want to make sure that everybody is aware of this. He was in the delivery room with the mother doing skin to skin during the golden hour. This is really important, okay? I have seen him make comments either in a video or through his own comment section trying to pretend like he had absolutely no knowledge that the child that he was going to adopt was going to be black. One, you made yourself available for all children, okay? Without educating yourself first. But to come on here and pretend like you are not trying to just make content, that is absurd. This is not a foster care situation. This is not a, oh, I had no idea. The baby just showed up on my doorstep one day. No, 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 no. He was well aware. This was all planned out. And you mean to tell me that you waited until after the baby was born to find out how you're supposed to raise this child? There's something sinister going on here. And the vast majority of us realize. Whew, that was a lot. As always, I want to know what you all think about this. Um, pretty much all the views that were expressed in the following TikTok videos were pretty much what I thought. It just seemed like he came off as, this is my moment. I want to use this baby to go viral, maybe get some brand deals. And I'm not saying that's his only motive for adopting this baby, but it's just very interesting in the timing of it all. Didn't waste any time. The baby's not even two, three months yet. <laughs> so um, I just want to know what you all think. I want to know your thoughts on transracial adoptions, also um, same-sex adoptions, um, just your thoughts in general around the topic. Do you think enough uh, people, well, there's not enough people adopting children? Is it a major problem? And if you've adopted children, let us know your experience in the comment section below. I just want to know everyone's thoughts about this and uh, we'll see if anything comes of it. But thank you all so much for watching and we'll talk in the next one. Please comment below. Please like the video, share the video. Also subscribe to the channel and be sure to hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss any updates. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.